Greetings, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, we've now had some momentum established in this game, but a venue change. The home team has become the visitor, and the visitor is ahead two games to none. Winning is all about confidence, Doc, and when you win the first two games of a playoff series, you have an opportunity in game three, like the visitor here tonight, to really take hold of this series. This is a huge game in the totality of the series. Let's look at the starting netminders. He's the starter tonight as the season rolls on so many hours with the goalie coach, and it's worked for him and for the Ducks. This man's the choice in goal tonight. He's worn the same number on his back since his days as a young goalie in minor hockey. He wears it again tonight for the visitors. Face-off about to take place. Taylor Hall among those in the starting lineup. Tremendous speed and skill and productive for Edmonton. Along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich, and this playoff game is underway. Laid on to Hall. Nicely into the zone. Locks on that to Hall. Got on by with that one. Shoot. Save. Drop down to Nugent Hopkins. Good intercept. Shoots one. Good attempt. Easy save. Right up the side. Back near the blue line to Hall. Point blast. Score. Boy, they're on the board early, aren't they? He had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. And so as soon as that goaltender drops down, everyone's looking at the top of the net, and the stick side was wide open. We knew the scoreless tie would be broken. Who thought this early? And by the visitor. Boy, the visitor's got to gain a lot of confidence getting this early lead. The Ducks got that faceoff win to Cogliano. Propelled to Heatley. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Petrie. He could start some danger here. Sets up shot. Steam to Fowler. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Anaheim's got that neutral zone faceoff. Takes it on the wing. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the faceoff. Just a hair under four minutes have transpired. The Oilers lead 1-0. Edmonton's collected another victory on the faceoff. It's a three-on-two. How will they defend this? Great job on a cut pass. Nice standing poke check by Puglia. And he throws it in. Hopes of getting it back. Decides on the area behind. That covers some acreage to Puglia. Slides it to the point to Purcell. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Up high and clear. Looking from the blue line. Takes that pass from the other point. Chip to Puglia. Close in play. At the point of drive. Point to point it goes to Fane. Fires just got it at the last moment. The Ducks are guilty of a minor penalty for interference. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. 
The Oilers go on the power play for the very first time. Let's see if they can capitalize. Here's a way to create some momentum in the game. Anaheim's got a face-off win. And it's lifted back out of trouble. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Slid to Nugent Hopkins. Eberle's carrying it through center. Takes that pass. On to Hall. Glides across. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. They'll have to go back and recoil, thanks to this clear by Getzlaff. Good hand to eye, and the reach of the stick. Puck played between the blue lines by Nugent Hopkins. It's an onside play. Right up the middle to Nugent Hopkins. Slid back across from one point to the other. Terrific interception. Anaheim's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Takes it behind his own cage. Laid up that right side to Nugent Hopkins. Moves up the side with it now. The Ducks have killed it all. Sent back on by the blocker. Good work with the stick. Carries it up the wing. Picks it up in his own end. Passed up the middle for Everly. Cut on by with that one. A shot. Wonderful stop. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Shooting. Save. Put his pads together and got the whistle. Hall's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. Edmonton's got it again. Outstanding stop. Corralled by Oduya. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. Sliced through the neutral zone. Taken in his own end of the ice by Larson. Led on to Perron. Takes that pass from the other point man. Oh, and it's a penalty coming. Pass cut. Anaheim's got a minor penalty here for interference. You cannot stop his progress in this particular play. You have to allow him the ability to be able to move up the ice interference. The Oilers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Anaheim's prevailed on another faceoff. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. Edmonton's going back further to get restarted on this man advantage. He's got that pass. Got it on his stick in the slide. Puck settled down by Everly. Right along the blue line to Larson. Moves it to the barrier at center ice. Laid on to Nugent Hopkins. Back in front. Hammers one. Save. And clear. That was a great job. Constantly harassed, but they got it out of there. And so the opponent has to go back. Mashed in. Going back to play. His team on the power play. Puck taken by Larson. Left wing pass to Horak. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. Can he generate something? He's into the slot. Put it aside. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Long way to go and not much time to do it. To Yakupov. The Ducks are back even. He's got that centering pass. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Picked up in the attacking zone. Slid just inside the line. Great grab! Moves up along the boards. Good centering pass to the slot. Right from the slot. Ripper! He's pinned and held at the boards. He takes that point pass. Gets that one on across. To Horak. 
fires. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Drives to the net. Back and forth they go between the points. A little pass from his goalie here. Propelled to Palmieri. Good work. Stepped on past. Jabbed away by Purcell. Cut through the neutral zone. Perfect receipt of the pass. Receives that pass from the other side. Lugged along the line. Right near the goal stripe in the corner to Purcell. He could start some danger here. In the crease. To the safety of the net while his team makes changes. Gets that pass after he'd turned it over himself. Shoot through. Great. Last minute of play. Inside in the, the final. Minute. Lightning in that glove. He covers and a face-off will follow. Good job on the draw to Kessler. Angled to Cogliano. Takes it behind his own cage. If they can get organized, maybe time for one more attack before the end of the period. Fires sent on goal. Routine save there to Cogliano. And he motors on through the neutral zone. Flip to the opposite corner. 20 minutes have been played. Edmonton's connected once, and that's the only goal. A look now at the lopsided shot totals. A huge 18 for Edmonton. A humbling two for the Ducks. The intermission has arrived, but our most vivid memory is the go-ahead goal. It was a long time ago. It's not like I'm a fellow. I think she wants my money. But all I got is tenor. I ain't a superstar. I drive an average car. But she's a supermodel. What's the bottom line? I check the wallet and I'm thinking this ain't going far. I won't blame her if she turned around and then said au revoir. She don't know where I'm coming from. And I don't know where I'm going to. You smile all day and it's not your own. But I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't let her find out that I live at home. 20 minutes in the books, 20 minutes ahead. And so what did you think of the first? Anaheim's adjustments have to be on the offensive side. They don't have to worry about defensively because their goaltender was sensational in that first period. Dump and chase. Get the puck in, get your skating legs in, and get it on the forecheck. Heads on behind. Right near the goal stripe to Getzlaff. Pointed to Giordano. They score! And they've tied the game up. He had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Players make mistakes, Edzo, just like goaltenders do. He tries to make the flashy glove save, and he doesn't make any glove save. The Ducks get it off the faceoff to Cogliano. Mark Chip Jim to Heatley. Assisted by number eight, Trevor Looks Dino. ahead to start something. And by number 15, Ryan. Pass to the slot. Dino. He gets through. Outstanding Dino. save. What Dino. magic Dino. to even Dino. get the shot away. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Oh, deflected away. Point to point it goes to Larson. Fantastic shutdown. Takes it up near the boards. It's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. Wonderful save on the redirect. Gets in. Looks over his options here. Missed on the shot. Passed in the corner to Nugent Hopkins. Back near the blue line to Petrie. Cogliano's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Two sticks together. They cancel Slid to Heatley. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. 
as that point pass as well. Score! Two straight goals. Well, you're not going to see a better one-timer than that. He had his body in a real good position, showed the passer a target, let go of that puck really quickly. The goaltender had no chance on that beautiful one-timer. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Just over four minutes played here in period two. The Ducks lead by a goal. They just broke the tie moments ago. Anaheim's got it off the draw at center. Dumped in, glides to the safety behind the net. Diagonally to Pouillard. They've got a two-on-one. Back in front. Grab. And he holds on. Of the goal. Four minutes, 14 seconds. Quick work on the faceoff. That one is pointed to him. Oh, what a stop! Well, oh, that's a prime scoring area. What a stop! The Oilers shift from defense to offense. Full steam up the wing. Solid neutralized poke check. Swept on to Lovejoy. It's Kitty cornered in. The Oilers will start from their own end. Taken up the wing by Yoensu. Carries it up the side. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. To Oduya. Long pass sprung to Thompson. That puck mashed in. Carried to the corner by Palmieri. Can he generate something? Speared along by Yoensu. To Purcell. Oh, bad giveaway there. Anaheim's forced another turnover in this very close game. The Oilers shift from defense to offense. Geometrically to Puglia. Shook right through. Gets by. Tay. Speeds right on goal. Kick save. Outstanding. Good quick poke check there. Up the wing. On to Getzlaff. Up the wing to Puglia. Moves to the corner. Slides it to the point to Petrie, to Nugent Hopkins. Perfect pass! He's in front with it. Puck held near the point, laid on to Petrie. Just got enough! Pointed to Nugent Hopkins. Wrist shot, blocked! Led on to Perry. Roped in by Getzlaff. Heads along the boards. Puck corralled behind the net by Everly. To Nugent Hopkins. Got it at the point. Score! He got iron with that shot. get to this high scoring area a wrist shot is a great choice for a split second that ping off the crossbar might mean that it's up over the net bad break for the goaltender as it goes in behind him Anaheim's got that one. Scored by number 14, Jordan Eberle. Assisted by number Lofted eight, back to the opposite Ryan corner. Nugent. The Oilers will start from their own end. 12 minutes, 23 seconds. Right along the blue line. Score! That's two unanswered goals. Pretty simple from this area of the ice. You're shooting as hard as you can. 
Now the goalie's in good position, Eddie, but you shoot it like that, you're not going to stop it. Under seven minutes to go, second period. The Oilers have a one-goal lead. They recently broke the tie. Neutralized face-off win. Fifth of the playoffs. Scored by that play went four. offside. Niall Yakupov, assisted by number 50, Roman Horak, and by number 19. Time of the goal, 13 minutes, 6 seconds. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Gains the blue line. Out in the slot. Picked up in the attacking zone. Pass to the net. Looking for a better lane. The Ducks shift from defense to offense. Glides to the safety behind the net. A neutral zone carry to Kessler. Good solid defensive play there. Scorches one. Blasted in. Back in his defensive end to get it. Angled to Kessler. Carries it toward the woodwork. Strong play. Good reach. And he slides it through mid-ice. Two on one. Oh, good chance here. He's got a wonderful centering pass. Grabbed off by Richardson to Lovejoy. The poke check worked. Takes it up that side. Keeps it going behind the goal. Good centering pass to the slot. Point blast. Perfect centering pass. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Puck gathered in behind the net by Oduya. Takes it behind his own cage. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Nicely received at the point. No! If that puck hits the net, I think it goes through it. Anaheim's got a minor penalty. It's two minutes for interference. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved into the play. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Behind penalty to number Defensive zone win. Good pad stop. Giordano's got it on his stick, trying to clear. Good job of clearing. Neutral zone pickup here by Kessler. Right near the line. And offside is called on the play. Oh, guys, this is really sloppy puck work. The goalie has to make a save after they should be out of the zone already. Solid win at center ice. Yakupov's cutting through the neutral zone. Period. Oh, that's good. He drives to the net. Players tired, about to get a rest, but still seconds to play in this period. Side, lightning-like save off the one-timer. Right on his stick on the centering pass. And forced back down. Oh, they were under fire. They didn't buckle. Might be tested again, though. And he takes it through center ice. He drives toward the slot. Oh, quick reflexes. Good thing. For over a century, hockey has been three periods, not two halves. We're two-thirds of the way through this one. Time to look at the heavy totals for the shots on goal. 31 for Edmonton and six for Anaheim. And here is the one that has created the margin. It is a one-goal game and intermission.
the period starts, the penalty clock will move too. There's not much left on it, but some. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in, and he dumps it in. Edmonton's got time for only this rush. Heads on to the corner. Oh, what a terrific save in close. The goalie makes himself look big. The Ducks' penalty kill has gotten a workout, but still perfect. Propelled to Nugent Hopkins. Gives it on a cross from the point. Puck picked up by Oduya. Chip to Silverberg. Near the boards. Same side to Nugent Hopkins. Collected in the corner by Taylor Hall. Nice keep at the blue line to keep the attack going. Carried toward the woodwork by Getzlaff. And play stopped because of an offside. Sometimes there's just nowhere to go with the puck. Guys, this is an excellent shot, but the goaltender makes an excellent pad save. Anaheim's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. To Eaton. Moves up the wing. Slid just inside the line to Fowler. Good save there. Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. And he glides on to center ice. To Larson. One pass sets up another. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. He could start some danger here. Puck collected back behind the net by Larson. To Petrie. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Drives to the crease. Ooh, it lay there, but he got the whistle and stoppage of play. Just under five minutes off the clock. The Oilers with a lead of only one, three goals to two. They win it. Back near the blue line to Fane. Wonderful save on the redirect. That puck was tipped on the way through. To Heatley. Knocked right off the stick. Marched narrowly inside. Using the point. He's got it. Good distance on that one to Heatley. Terrific breakup of the odd man rush. Score! Heatley's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. You'd think a different tack by the goaltender would have been a better choice. He left too much room as he stayed on his feet on the stick side. Got another face-off win. Wires one up the gut to Thompson. Well handled. Slid to Nugent Hopkins. On to Hall. Time of the goal. Five minutes. Got on by with that one. Blockered away. The Ducks will start from their own end. Controlled by Nugent Hopkins. He's got that pass at the point. Got a piece of it. Glides to the safety behind the net. To Perry. Nice job. Straight stand-up poke check. Carried through center ice. He drives toward the slot. Wonderful save with a pass. Floated to the opposite corner by Perry. 
Parked in the slot, and it's on his stick. Score! A pair of goals by the same team. Perry's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. I wouldn't want to be that defensive player when they look at the video on this one. What a mistake. Kessler's just like his team, winning everything. Good position in the slot. Pass. Right in front. Nice move to shake on through. Laid on to Puglia. Slides it to the point. Wonderful save. That save was much more difficult than it looked. Propelled to Puglia. In the slot. Why? Wonderful chance. You keep going to that area, you're going to get lots of those chances. Unfortunately, he missed the net. Turned right away with the poke check by Petrie. Can he generate something? And drives on through center. Point to point, it goes to Gordon. Decides on the area behind. And he gets that one back behind the net. Chip to Cogliano. Puck gotten behind the net by Petrie. To Perron. Right up the side. Slid to Perron. Pointed to Petrie. Wonderful centering pass and it's right to him. Jab deeper to Horak. Gets that puck behind the net. Not the quarterback there, but he's going to set something up. Great save, point blank. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Play to be made now by Petrie. Takes it on the wing. Ripped along to Nugent Hopkins. Shoots one. Routine save. You're not going to beat him from there with that shot. The shot's delivered quickly, but he smothers the bottom of the net so well. Gets his legs out to make the stop. Over five minutes remaining here in the third. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. That pass along the boards. To Perry. He'd given a pass, now he gets one. He gains the zone. Terrific handoff. Back near the blue line to Giordano. Oh, he'll pay for that. We have a player that is injured, can't get to the bench, staying out there. Play continues. Picks it up in his own end. Up the wing with it now. Up that right side to Silverberg. Big drive. And he got that one. He made it look easy. What a stop. Looks ahead to start something. Handed right back to Daly. Picked up in the attacking zone. Gets on by. Perfect passing right through center. Taken right up the middle. The Oilers shift from defense to offense. Diagonally to Hall. Two guys together with force. Big force. I saw that play coming from a mile away. Offside stops the clock. This shift had to seem like an extra minute for him. He was banged up earlier on it. Still gets out to block the shot. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Oh, did he ever get matched? Late in the game, the outcome is still in doubt. Up, score! One. So 
Overberg slap shot had some heat on it. Well, the goaltender wants to be aggressive here, but this is just perfectly delivered. Anaheim's got another face-off win. Perry's got this one between the blue lines. Tremendous poke check. by number 10, Corey Perry. Good pass up that wing. In the slot, he's taking a perfect centering pass. 19 minutes, 7 seconds. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. Picked up between the blue lines by Taylor Hall. He can start some danger here. Drill. Oh, he missed the net. He missed the net. Edmondson's had the better of the play looking to get back in this game. Slides it to the point to Perron. Looking from the blue line. He's got that point pass. That shot hit a man. The horn has sounded. Anaheim's got the win. It's a good thing they got the win because they hardly had the puck. You're going to have nights like this, and you have to find a way to win hockey games when you don't have your best offensive game.